My name is Gordon Ryan. I'm a black belt under John Danaher and Gary Tonin. I'm training out of Henzo Gracie, New York City. I'm constantly looking for submissions, whether it be attacks in the lower body, attacks in the upper body. I'm looking to go out and finish, guys. I'm competing against Mateus Denise. My name is Mateus Denise. I'm a black belt under Marcelo Garcia, trained in New York, Marcelo Garcia Academy. I have a very aggressive style, top of pressure, very hard to get score, very hard to get things going on me. I feel my pressure, my top position, that's what makes people uncomfortable. In my opinion, this is definitely the biggest event of the year. There's no undercard, it's just a super fight card. I mean, what more can you really ask for? We're both number one in each division. He's number one at 99 and pound for pound. I'm the number one at 88. We never match up before. My only objective is to submit this guy. Anything less than a submission is a loss for me. We're both very active, so I think this match is going to be pretty amazing. So far, I've beaten 17 ADCC medalists. This will be my eighth champion that I beat. We're both two ADCC champions. is the biggest super fight that you can put out there. You cannot get bigger than this. I think it's me chasing him around the mats for 30 minutes and him trying to just not get submitted, but we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our final and feature match of the evening. Introducing first to the match, representing Alliance Jiu-Jitsu, the number one ranked 88 kilogram no key grappler and 2019 ADCC 88 kilogram champion. Here is Mateus. And his opponent, making his way to the mat out of the blue corner, representing Hinzo Gracie Jiu Jitsu. The number one ranked pound for pound, no gi grappler. In It's champion versus champion, it is Gordon Ryan, the number one ranked pound for pound and under 99 kilogram grappler in the world going up against Matthias Denise, the number one ranked 88 kilogram grappler. And quite a big size advantage here, a 26 pounds weight advantage for Gordon Ryan yesterday at the weigh-ins. Shanji, what do you think about this match so far? This is... Uh, this is, this is what we expected. We expected Gordon to go straight to guard. Yeah, you know, uh, Matheus Denise, being a Marcelo Garcia, you know, protege, he knows where the dangers are. Uh, Gordon Ryan, really good on, on, on butterfly guard and, and wrist control. And uh, yeah, I think it's a big challenge for, for Matheus. Uh, I know the weight advantage is a, is a big problem, but in a 30 minute match, that can play on his side. Let's see how he can tire Gordon out a little bit. You know, Gordon mentioned time and time again that he feels that he can win this match if he can basically get a hold of Mateus. Because one thing about Mateus is he is rock solid. Let's first of all mention about the fact that he has never been submitted as a black belt in a no-gi match. Let's talk about the fact that he scored 10 unanswered points at ADCC 2019 on that winning run. But let's also talk about the fact that it is rare to see him out of position. His no-gi game seems to match up well, should you look at his style, against mm -hmm. Gordon's seated butterfly guard. Oh yeah, you know, that, that matched really well. If you look again, uh, the Mateus in his uh, head position, he goes for the upper body more, more than the legs. You know, he'll, he'll stay in a good stance, good distance. Gordon will probably, you know, go for an attack. And, uh, and be able to get um, a good position. But the thing about Gordon, which I really like about him, is that once he gets a position, he doesn't lose it. You know, he's very effective in positions, you know? So, and that's gonna test uh, Mateus' ability to defend also, you know what I mean? Can, can Mateus get his guard passed and, and, and recover? Can Mateus 
get his back tank and recover. That's that's a big question. Oh, oh. look at that there, Gordon Ryan following Matthias Denise up and scoring a takedown in the midst of that motion, and that puts him on top early, and that's significant, Shanji. Yeah, so see, that's the position that we're talking about also, you know, top half guard. Um, let's see what Gordon has from that, you know. He's going to pretty much just keep his weight. It's been, what, three minutes on the clock. Um, but they're still dry, and that's a oh, factor, yeah. right? Because, that, you know, you think that Mateus, he's going to want to explode out. He's going to want to mm -hmm. look for an escape from here. But that's not when they try, Mateus, and there he is. That's the Kimura coming. Oh, wow, an escape oh. there from Mateus Denise. He looked in a Beautiful. bad spot, however, able to use that deep half. Wow. Kind of, uh, Not even three minutes and a lot happened. A lot That's happened beautiful. indeed. Gordon, of course, looking to get that submission in the transition from the guard pass, moving up high on the upper body. We even saw it earlier in the match, with uh, earlier in the evening, in a similar moment with William Tackett scoring it from that kind of deep half style. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But Matthias was able to rip out of that early. And, you know, I got to say, for me, that is significant because not many people can get out of a bad spot with Gordon like that. Oh yeah, you know, uh, that's one thing that uh, we talk about positioning and training, you know. Once you get a position, you don't lose it. And, uh, and Gordon's been very efficient with this. He's been actually exposing a lot of, you know, really high rank black belts weaknesses, which is their ability to defend positions. Excellent defense to the possible sweep, impending sweep from uh, Gordon there, Matthias Denise switching sides with his guard pass and you know i gotta say let's just go back to that moment where gordon scored that reversal because it looked to me like mateus was a little bit too casual the way that yeah. he turned away mm -hmm. and he kind of mm -hmm. walked away and gordon was like thank you very much boom straight yeah. after him yeah and, and and gordon is really good at the, at the hook sweep switch you know that was a, a arm drag like like a hold you know a wrist and underhook and then he does that very well for the hook sweep, which him and Craig, if you look at those guys that are looking for the leg lock, they, they really go for that hook sweep to make the guy base and, and go for the leg or the honey hole, whatever uh, we call, but uh, Gordon up scoring the sweep. So here now we have 25 and a half minutes remaining in this match. And one of the biggest questions, of course, is does that favor Gordon most people seem to think it does because he always asks for no time limit. Now, regardless of whether he thinks that it's going to be a five-minute you know, uh, affair where he can get the submission in a, in a short space of time, he still wants as long as possible on the clock. Mm -hmm. Because you, know, you ask for a 30-minute match, not many people are going to come out as hard as Mateus is coming out because mm -hmm. they think, man, i got to save something for the, for the next 20, 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in that case... Uh you know, I think Mateus being on the top, it's uh, it's good for him because he can tire uh, Gordon out. You can see that Gordon is being really using his A game. He's not joking around. He's using all his butterfly arsenals, and so far Mateus is doing a really good job. You know, he he's, he goes for it. That's where the danger is. Oh, sweet! Now that Different. time Denise was a little quicker, out mm. of danger, less uh, less happy to kind of hang out there as uh, Gordon was possibly looking to come up off it. But, you know, so well matched in this style. It's a lot of problem, a big problem is that Gordon's style catches a lot of people uh, out because, you know, he plays pretty much exclusively seated guard. And now mm -hmm. coming up on top, look at this. It's kind yeah, of a wrestling yeah. position and, right here. Again, that was very uh, reckless of Mateus. Not expecting that. Uh, kind of hanging out, down. just yeah. looking at Gordon. Yeah, and now Gordon on top once again. A very simple wrestling style reversal. Uh, but look into this three quarter uh, mount here. This is bad news. That's bad news right there. Got a very strong shoulder in the jaw there as well, Shanji. What that's, what's that position like, you think, right here? Well, so far, I think Mateus is. I would like to see. Mate yeah, that was a good escape. Gordon is just floating. That's where Gordon will use his weight. Nice side smash there by Gordon. Head control. Boom, mount. Oh, into the mount. Yeah. Gordon passes there. Riding the bucking motion of Mateus Denise. Gordon Ryan settles into the mount. And now here, 23 minutes remaining. This is where that 23 pound, or 26 pound, I'm sorry, weight advantage is definitely going to be a factor. Because look at the way walking 
the elbow up high away from the torso, creating separation from the, the elbow and the upper body. That's exactly what I was mentioning. Let's see got now Mateo's ability to escape that and uh, Gordon's, uh, you know, being effective in, a, in the dominant position. This heavy, heavy mount here from Gordon Ryan, chest on the face, smothering pressure. Matthias butts and rolls, does a good job of getting his elbows back close to his body. Uh, this, this is not out of danger, but it's better than he was. Yeah, but still, I don't see him position himself properly for that escape. He's just using muscle. That's all muscle. Good uh, Gordon control. His toes are in. You see, like, his toes are behind uh, uh, Mateus' uh, hip. And Mateus has no hip angling there. You know, he's just buckling. But Gordon is very, very efficient in that. You see Gordon's toe. I always tell my students to keep those toes inside. You look that Mateus cannot turn his hips. Got those arms up high away from the body once again. His elbows up by his ears as Matthias Denise. Extreme pressure with the upper body. And you know, I know this is one of your favorite positions, Chanji, of course, mm -hmm. the mount, one of your specialities. But this that, is a this is a mount masterclass right here. Oh yeah, you know, like I said, he's still flat. Look, he's just buckling up. Matthias needs to find an angle. Uh, be able to, you know, stay a little more 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 on his side, you know, he's, he's just flat. But, but like I said, Gordon is really good in that. Uh, Mateus does not want to give up the back also, so it's a little dilemma there. Yeah, of course, you really do not want to turn your back to Gordon Ryan, but now you can see that Gordon, his, uh, his left leg deep underneath the hips, it could even be underneath the hips, hard to see from this angle right here. But John Danaher watching very closely from the sidelines as his one of his star pupils, let's say, Gordon Ryan, methodically works his attacks here from this position. And what do you think is, is his main objective here, Shanji? Do you think that he's going to go for arm triangle, or do you think yeah. he would go for something else? Yeah, I think he just pretty much tiring until he gets arm triangle. I think, I think, you know, maybe the submission will come soon. I don't see Mateus with the right strategy to escape the mount so far. Maybe an arm lock, but um, Gordon is not know much for try the arm lock. Let's see if he he will go for that attempt. Well, Mateus has not given up yet, but if you were, and I know you don't get your guard fast, <laughs> you hit something of a, a thing in your career, you never really get put in these positions. But let's see if you were on bottom in this position and you were Mateus Denise, what would you be doing to get out of here, Shanji? Uh, well, I'm going to actually shoot a BJ Fanatics DVD next month about it, so I'll tell you guys there. But Mateus needs to find an angle. Look, his legs are not moving, he's totally flat, he's not communicating between his shoulders and his legs. See, he's just flat, you know, he, look, he's bumping, just powering, powering, boom. Trying See, to just powering. come he, up and, yeah, he almost needs to get, up there. He but... needs to get one of his legs in between Gordon Ryan's feet, at least one of them. Look, his thigh is in the top of Gordon's calf, so that's, that's not helping him at all. And eventually, he's going to get tired. Look, he's, Gordon's working his way into the, the arm triangle. Maybe he's going to do a gift wrap. A oh, little better, better there. But he's still not moving his hips properly. Boom, he's flat again. Now, this position, of course, Gordon Ryan has multiple options. He has the opportunity to attack for arm locks. He has the opportunity to attack for chokes. We may even see him go for a mounted triangle with those long mm, legs. He has a well-developed okay, uh, triangle it's system. Now but it's coming. Could see him if go he, for the shoulder get, choke. Uh, the uh, he's gonna gift wrap him, maybe. But Mateus is, is doing a good job surviving. And that again, ladies and gentlemen, spend time defending that position. Look, uh, like it's been five minutes. He's been on the mount. You know, it's, it's extremely important. The reason people do not pass my guard is not just because of my guard itself. It's my ability to avoid side control and mount. And that, exp like I said in the beginning, that exposes people people's uh, vulnerability in positions and uh, you know I think uh, I just would like to see Mateus coming out of this to see where the fights go trying to work on a uh, traditional Americana attack but having actually been to the Hensel Gracie Academy there in Manhattan New York and having seen Danaher teaching class there it is uh, 
it's not just a straight attack in itself, the Americana from the mount, but it opens up so much other stuff as well, Shanji, right? Oh yeah, you know, he can go for the Americana, he got the arm triangle, now we can see Earth oh, coming. Uh, he got the angle out. Now, you see that even though he hasn't been able to escape the position just yet, the defense of, of Mateus in simply surviving and, and making it hard for Gordon to score a submission. Do you think that Gordon's going to try and force the back instead? Do you think that's his best? No, uh, I, think he, I think he has enough time to, to decide what he wants. Mateus is not preparing. Oh, he got it, he got it, he got wow, it. Wow, we finally see Mateus Denise come out from fight. under bottom. That was around six minutes that he spent on bottom Beautiful. in mount underneath Gordon Ryan, and not Beautiful. many people get out of those bad spots like that. It just goes to show that this match is not over yet. The number one 88 kilogram grappler in the world, an ADCC champion, still very much in this. Back to his feet. And we still got 17 minutes remaining. But hey, Shanji, how much does it take out of you to spend that long on bottom, expending all that energy to try and get underneath a guy who's 26 pounds heavier than you? Oh, that, that, that took a lot for him, but also can frustrate Gordon and give Mateus a little, you know, second wind. Because uh, I haven't, I don't really remember last fight that Gordon lost a position, to tell you the truth. Well, the two most significant moments in this match, I would say, were the two reversals that Gordon scored. The first, a simple ankle pick up to a kind of a takedown. The second, standing up from this position and getting that front headlock and then simply reversing. But that goes to show that Mateus can't afford to make any more mistakes. No, nah, no. Nah. Halfway the fight, uh, definitely being in the need for Gordon, especially with the, those, those, those arms above your head and and struggling, his shoulders are probably very fatigued by now. But, um, you know, that shows Mateo's heart, you know, he's not a champion by any accident, you know. He, he put it out there, he gave up 28 pounds and he's putting on a show. And he's still going forward. That's oh, yes. the other thing we got to yes. note as well. Now, he could have just backed out, taken a breather and run around the outside and, and kind of thought about what his options were. But no, he's straight back in the mix, straight back putting pressure on Gordon's guard and forcing Gordon to come up on top once again here, back in the wrestling. Ryan really eager to put Mateus back into the bad spots there. Nice little foot sweep attempt, but Will he wrestle from here? No, nah. sits back to guard. But hey, he's been having so much success there. Why change it up? Why change the strategy if it's been working so well? Yeah, especially fighting a guy like Mateus that commits. So it's his exchange, you know? Mateus is not uh, moving away. He's not uh, shying away from the challenge, which is, uh, is beautiful from both of the guys. Very technical match. Arm oh. drag to standing, almost around to the back, but Mateus manages to spin out right back where we started and this is a this is something interesting and i think maybe an under studied and overlooked part of gordon's game is his ability to wrestle up from bottom in very simple but very effective ways yeah you know he uh he gained a lot of weight and uh you, you see that his game didn't change much you know his bottom game is still very effective uh he 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 times very well when you when you disengage from him you know, that's what I think, and also his butterfly uh, position is really strong, such as Marcelo. Some guys can just sit, you know, stay seated very strong. You know, you see guys like Adam, you know, Marcelo, Gordon Ryan himself, even Craig, you know, they, they can sit really easy. And that benefits a lot in the Nogi game. Speaking of the wrestling, were this to be a standing wrestling match, you have to give the the advantage to Mateus. He scored many takedowns in his career and he has the he has the luck to train with some very high level wrestlers, including a number of D1 wrestlers in the Marcelo Garcia gym, but also has been training a lot recently with Rustam Chusiev, the uh, ADCC veteran, one of the most notorious grapplers on the East Coast scene, a fearsome wrestler. This must be a pretty hell of a that must be a hell of a workout training with that guy. The yeah, Rustam, he's so technical, you know, it's unbelievable. Uh, he's one of the most seasoned fighters on ADCC. Everyone hates fighting him. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I fought him myself, I think, three times. Uh, but you know the difference, Shanji, in the way that Rustam will wrestle? Of course, he's going to wrestle from his feet, and he's going to wrestle you down. Whereas yeah. Gordon wrestles up from bottom to wrestle you down. Those yeah. are angles that traditional yeah. wrestlers will not attack. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like what's happening there. I could see a butterfly sweep happening. But Mateus is getting a good angle. 
Going for his patented shoulder crunch position right here. We did a great breakdown of this. Ricardo Andolia, our resident black belt, analyzed this position well, the options but that Gordon has, just, but... Uh, don't give up the top. Yeah, he's going to stay on the top. Uh, Using it for a leg entanglement. He's got yes, a straight he ankle lock here now. Gordon in on the legs. This is one of the main parts that he has from that shoulder crunch position. He goes to either the triangle or he goes to the leg entanglement. Uh, and here, he heel it. hook, heel hook. A yeah, uh, little yeah, confusion yeah. over whether the position was done. Gordon very nicely did not smash the position on. Matthias' his hand was hovering, but it was checkmate. The match over by way of heel hook. Around about 27 minutes into the match, and your winner is Gordon Ryan. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your